demonstration, I will create a business process that has a user task to set a price on a ring based on an incoming ring size and quality parameters. To use this business process in Business Central, a form must be used to capture the ring size and quality, and another form to set the price when the user task is completed. The business process needs three process variables. Ring size, an integer, quality, an integer, and the output, price, also an integer. The process has four nodes, two activity nodes, and an end node. The first node is a user task called set price. We must provide local variables for ring size, which would be an integer, in quality, it should be a data output set. So I'm going to put out price as an output. So we have ring size and quality coming in and price going out. Now I'm going to make my assignments to my process variables. We're coming in from ring size. We're mapping that to in ring size. Doing the same thing with quality taking the input quality, mapping it to in, quali uh, in quality, and finally we're going to map the output variable out price, and we're mapping that to the process variable price. We want to make sure that anyone in the pricer group can pick up the task. The third node is a script task. And we're going to say display variables. And we're going to simply output all three variables to the console. So we're going to output the ring size, and I'm going to copy this. Notice that I'm using the process variables, not the local task variables. And this would be the price. So I'm printing out the ring size, quality, and price to the console.
Now I'm going to use the diagram editor to generate the two forms that I need. The first form will appear when the process instance is started and will be used to capture the ring size and the quality variables. The second form will appear when someone executes the user task to set the price. So first I generate all forms. And as we can see, they have been generated. Now I want to save my process. Now I'm going to edit the uh, first form. I want to customize it. The form generator will automatically place every process variable on the form by default. I don't want the price on the very first form that is uh, displayed because it'll be set later in the workflow by the set price user task. So I'm going to open that. So this is the form modeler that is showing us the rings price task form. B based on its name, we can tell that it's the um, process model form that gets displayed at the beginning because it, it contains in it the name of the project dot and then the name of the business process model called price. So I want to remove the price completely from this form because that will be set later. We don't want to show that in the beginning. And then I'm going to make these have user-friendly labels. And I'm going to mark these fields as required. And save that, those attributes. Do the same thing to ring size. Make it required and save that. Now I'm going to save this form. All right. Now I want to go to the set price form. I'm going to close this one. And I want to make this field the price required and also make its label more user friendly. And then I want to change these fields not only to make their field their labels user friendly but to make them read only. because they were set when the task, uh, when the process was instantiated. So these fields are merely for the person executing the task to review and then to set the price. So we'll save that form. Now it's time to build and deploy our project. So going back to the project modeler, project uh, editor, I click build and deploy. And the build was successfully deployed. Now I will start an instance of this business process and you can see the process form displayed with the customizations. So starting this, we see our required fields. We can see that if we try to start without that, that we get a message saying that they're required. Make the quality a 6 and the ring size an 8. Now the process was started. I go to the task list to manage the tasks. And here's the task called set price that was created by our business process model. 
First I claim the task by clicking the lock. Next I start the task by clicking on the check mark. And notice our form, our customized form is displayed. And I can see that I can't enter anything into the quality or ring size, but I can enter a price and complete the task. The process has been completed and we can demonstrate that by showing the display statements on the console. Ring size is 8, quality is 6, and price is $5.95. This concludes our demo of how to create forms and customize them in Business Central.